All right, hello there. Um, really quickly, I just wanted to show a video of the Spider-Man 4 prototype beta demo alpha, whatever you want to call it, that leaked on the internet a couple weeks ago, running on real hardware. Um, this unit down here happens to be an RGH modified Xbox 360 that I bought on eBay a year ago, pretty much. Um, nothing crazy though, no dev kit, no emulator, nothing like that. Um, some people have gotten the game running through a uh, an emulator or I think a dev kit, as far as I know. Uh, but I don't think they've run it on a a console, and that's because there's some files you have to mess around with. So. This is, uh, I'll show you really quickly what I mean just before I get started with the demo. But uh, the file in question that was made was by Chrome Mods, Chrome X Mods on the Obscure Gamers Forum. Um, so thanks to them. Um, if you go to Dash Launch here, you can see it's a plugin. Uh, right here, it's like hvp.xex, and that's basically once you enable this plugin, it's basically what allows you to launch uh, debug.xex files because by default in the game, the Xbox 360 will try to launch it and it will crash because it, it's probably not a signed uh, xex file from what I understand. Hmm, autofocus is being pretty dumb today. Um, let's see, if you go to XEX menu though, down here, tell us a little more of uh, what we're looking for here. There you go. Um, yeah, right here, Spider Man 4. Thanks to uh, Mr. Pinball64 on the Obscure Gamers Forum for leaking this, I guess. This is unrelated, it doesn't do anything. But um, there's two like XEX files in here and like I couldn't get the game to launch through these so I don't know, I don't know what they're for. But if we go back to the Aurora dashboard, to load. Um, what does show up is a looks like an, like a launch for prototype uh, right here. And I don't know if it's called that because it's based off the prototype game by Radical Entertainment or it's literally a prototype for Spider-Man. I don't know. But when you launch it you get the Spider-Man icon. There you go. And, uh, yeah, the game does work. As you can see, it's working fine. Uh, here's the controller. So if I hit A, yeah, see? So it's definitely real hardware. And, uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, I'm surprised how much the devs were able to finish in this build. I believe this build is from 2009, so that would have been after the original prototype was released. Um, it definitely feels a lot like a mix between something like Web of Shadows and Prototype. It, it plays very similarly to those two games. It looks like the animations were pulled from Web of Shadows for web swinging, but the obviously this it reuses running and, and movement animations from Prototype. Um, you can see a lot of these models for citizens and stuff are unfinished, but they gave him like unique punch punch animations, I think. Unless again, they're ripped from Water Shadows. So you have this menu that lets you jump into stuff. I don't know. 
I've tried a few of them. I don't know which ones work, which ones don't. This is empty E3. Let's try this. really cool to see this. Um, I'm super glad that this was found because I'm a huge Spider-Man fan and I'm a huge uh, prototype fan, you know, the game, and I, I like unfinished uh, things. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, I just like to see this in, uh, in action. I, I don't know what I can launch here, what I can't. I don't want. I don't want to break the game, but um, I know this works. This is like a little beat 'em up section. Just have to place those files in the right uh, location. That uh, that plugin made by Chrome X Mods. I'll put it in the description. But uh, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching, and uh, appreciate you.